Service Bank Foundation for International Cooperation ni shirika la kibenki ya Kijerumani. Leo limeweza kuzindua rasmi tawi lao hapa nchini Tanzania. Shirika hilo la Kijerumani ambapo limeweza kuzindua rasmi makao yake hapa mkoa ni Mwanza. Steven Moe Safe ni mkurugenzi mkazi wa Service Bank Foundation hapa Tanzania. Yeye anaeleza namna shirika hilo linavyoweza kufanya kazi. Uh, sisi katika shirika tunawafundisha uh, taasisi ndogo ndogo za kifedha ili ziweze kujikwamua katika kazi wanazozifanya na hasa wakifanya kazi zao kwa weredi. Lakini pamoja na hayo tunazifundisha hizo taasisi kitu kinaitwa sustainability au uendelevu wa miradi ambayo wanafanya. Kwa mfano shirika letu lina linapoleta misaada linategemea kwamba baada ya muda wale wanaokuwa msaada basi waendelee kujiendeleza wenyewe. Haiwezekani msaada ukaja kila siku kila siku kila siku. Lazima tuwafundishe namna ya kuwa sustainable kwenye eh, project zao wanazozifanya. Kwa sisi tunafundisha namna ambayo mashirika madogo madogo ya fedha zikiwemo circles, vikoba kwamba baada ya muda hii misaada itakauka. Kwa tangu day one, tangu siku ya kwanza tunafundisha namna ya kuhakikisha kwamba eh, kazi wanazozifanya wataweza kuzifanya baada ya wageni hawa ambao wanatupa misaada watakapokuwa wanaondoka. Naye mwenyekiti wa bodi hiyo Dr. Duga hapa anaeleza juu ya ujio wa shirika hilo hapa Tanzania. My name is Christoph Gödler. I come from the savings bank of uh, Tübingen which is in the southwest of Germany. We had uh, two days of workshops and discussions in Dar es Salaam already uh, with Mr. Cheyo from Self Microfinance. We had uh, workshops with 10 or 15 people and we discussed the problems, the questions and I tried to share my experience and get into discussions with the colleagues from Tanzania and I think they got some ideas how they could do their, their business in the future. Hata hivyo mameneja wa shirika hilo hawakuwa nyuma kueleza kuhusiana na uzinduzi huo. I'm very happy I was welcomed here by everyone by all our partners by the colleagues but also by the local people that you meet on the street and I have a really good impression also about the project activities that we are implementing. I think uh, we have already some success in what we've been doing. Um, we have great partners. Um, self and Karodeka um, that we are cooperating with and uh, yeah I'm really looking ahead to our future activities together. My name is Thomas, Thomas Konitzer. Um, I'm coming from Kigali, Rwanda. This is where our regional head office of SBFRC is located. So currently we are working in four countries in East Africa, Tanzania is one of them, others are Rwanda, Burundi and uh, Uganda. And um, yeah, about the question of sustainability, this is actually indeed one of the biggest challenges, I think, for many NGOs that are working in the sector, but also in other sectors. We try to overcome that by um, by working on a partnership level from the very first day with our partner organizations. You will never find any SBFIC office worldwide that is only working directly with beneficiaries because we know if our project is over, we have to go. Um, so we always work with partner organizations and those partner organizations are always facilitated um, and trained to, and, and of course well prepared uh, to carry out the project activities in the long run once SBFIC is gone. Maazi ya wanafunzi wale uzuria katika shule hiyo walikuwa na haya ya kueleza. Kuhusu kuweka akiba, kuweka akiba kwanza ni kutunza kitu kwa ajili ya matumizi ya baadaye. Uh, unapo mtu unapoweka akiba, hapa tunaongelea sana 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 kuweka akiba ya hela. Unapoweka akiba kwanza inakusaidia kutimiza malengo yako. Tunajua sana hasa sisi wanafunzi tuna malengo mengi sana. Kwa hiyo kutokana na ile kuweka akiba unaweza ukatumia hiyo akiba uliyojiwekea kama sasa hivi ukaitumia baadaye kutimiza malengo yako alafu inakusaidia kwenye kwenye pale ambapo unakuwa na shida mbalimbali mbali za emergence kwamba unaweza uka, uka, ukawa na shida labda sasa unakuta labda kule wazazi wako hawana hela kwa mfano lakini kutokana na ile akiba uliyoiweka unaweza ukatumia wewe kama wewe ukajikwamua katika hayo matatizo yako kwanza akiba ni kutunza kitu chochote ili kiweze kusaidia baadaye. Kwa mfano unaweza ukatunza ukatunza hera au ukafuga au kilimo. 
tuna, hapa tunaongelea kuhusu hela. Unaweza kama nyumbani kwenu haku, wazazi wako hawana hela. Sasa na wewe una mahitaji mengi ya shule. Unaweza ukatunza fedha yako ikakusaidia kwenye mahitaji ya shule. Nawashauri wazazi kufungua account ya benki katika matawi mbalimbali. Redi mdeme Bamedas TV.